Hey guys, and welcome back to A Crafter's Journey. My name is Ray Chronic, and today we're going to be doing some quests. So, um, I did find a few bugs in, uh, in the quest lines uh, that we're going to be doing pretty soon here. Probably not in this episode, but I did, uh, I did just fix a lot of bugs. There's some grammatical errors. There's uh, some uh, bugs with the quest not showing up when they should, not being able to be completed. So I just, just fixed those uh, uh, yesterday, and so it, it seems to be working fine. So we're going to be doing some quests. But that's pretty much why I'm not releasing this to the public yet, just so I can do some bug, bug fixing myself. I just slept in the bed, so that way it's daytime. We can come out here. Let's look at our quest lines. Let's get up on a tree somewhere what the heck oh my god oh my god are you kidding me are you kidding me you've got to be oh my god holy crap that was insane that was insane we are going to die oh my gosh what the heck what did we get from that we got tomato seeds a hatteroth pickaxe with efficiency three and a hatteroth pickaxe we got two Hatteroth pickaxes. Those are like one of the best pickaxes in the game. We just got them from that guy. Because he was a super powerful one. The super powerful ones drop like Hatteroth uh, stuff and like adamantium stuff. It's, and it's crazy. But God, thank God he was a, one of those skull crawlers. Because they don't have much health to begin with. Because if that was anything else, if that was even just a normal like skeleton, we would die. We would have died instantly. Because he freaking withered us. Holy crap. That was insane. Well, now we can go get that gold if we want. Because we got a Hatteroth pickaxe. Actually, let's put one of those in there. And we're going to take one of these with us. So let's put all this stuff in there. And let's take the stake with us. And let's take a shovel. Because we might need a shovel. You never know. And we can put that away. Okay. So... Yeah, look at that. So much faster. Holy crap. Okay, so I wanted to get on a tree so I couldn't get attacked by anything. Okay, so then I can look at this. Okay, so our quest lines right now. Vanilla. We have to smelt iron. Uh, protect yourself. Getting hurt too easily. Maybe it's time to put on some clothes. To craft yourself a set of armor, you're going to need to get your hands dirty. Go out and kill some cows. They'll run from you, but they're no match for your new tools. Kill 25 helpless cows. We gotta kill 25 cows. We gotta kill 25 cows. And I don't think I've seen a single cow. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. Hey, what is that? Is it a rabbit or something? No. Oh, I, th I thought that was a mob. That's an island over there. But yeah, I haven't seen a single cow. There might be cows over there. So we might well go check over there. So we can't really do that one or that one. Because I don't want to go mining right now. So we're going to actually look at quests that don't have to do that. So here we go. We got a couple of quest lines here. We got the Tinker's, it's Tinker Time, Tinker's Construct Quest. Uh, that one's not to be showing up. Just don't look at that one for a second. Um, we got the Apprentice Smelter. Uh, so we can make an iron furnace, but we'd have to smelt iron to do that. Uh, we can make a wooden cog. Now that's something we can do. Okay, so... Before all those newfangled technologies, machines were made of cogs and were powered by cranks and steam. Let's take a trip back in history and build some of them. But first, we're going to have to start with the most basic item. Wooden cog. Cogs are the basic items of clockwork machines. They come in a variety of different types, all with different traits and properties. The easiest material to make a cog with is wood. All it takes is four planks and four sticks to make eight simple cogs. So we just got to make some wooden cogs. So this is one of the... Um, one of the big technology mods. It's called Cogs of the Machine. And it's pretty awesome, as you guys will find out pretty soon here. Uh, probably not in this episode, but it we're going to get some of it done in this episode. But some of the machines are crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. Okay. So there we go. Got a lot of wood. So let's make a cog. We need sticks. What is it? It was four sticks and... Was it four sticks, four planks? I think that's what it was, and can't remember which way it goes. So I'm going to say it's that way. Is that the way? Yep. Wooden cog wheel. And you notice it says max speed 40 RPM, speed loss 1 RPM. That's because uh, we can we can place them, and we can get them to turn by hitting them with a crank, and they'll lose speed depending on how many of them there are in a line. And those ones, these ones will only run at a max speed of 40 RPM. 
which uh, I think there's three other cogs, and I think the highest one goes to 120, so it's really fast. So these ones won't power stuff that quickly, but they will power stuff. So let's get that done. Okay, claim the reward. Now we got 16 cogs. Awesome. So now we unlocked a lot of stuff. We got the wooden box, pendulum, and the stone pounder. So let's see if we can make a wooden box. So wooden box. Ever wanted to carry around some extra stuff, but you didn't have enough space in your inventory? With the power of wood, you can now fix that. You can make a wooden box out of three planks, one stake, and one chest. So we can actually make this. The wooden box holds an entire chest's worth of items, but be careful. Every time you open it, it'll lose some durability. You can only open it ten times before it'll break, spilling its contents on the ground. So we want to be careful. So this is going to be like a backup thing that we'll carry with us if we raid a dungeon or something. We can put the stuff in there and just don't open it until we get back to the base. So that's, that's I think, what we're going to use those for. So it said chest, and I don't remember the rest. Which rhymes? Okay. Three planks, one stick, one chest. Three planks, one stick. So we got three planks, but I'm going to have to use one of them to make sticks. I just make sticks out of these. There we go. So one stick. I, I wonder if it's... It's probably like this. So I'm guessing. Yep. Wooden box. Okay. So I'm going to open it once. So you notice it's just like a normal chest. But now it says durability 9 out of 10. So if that reaches 0, then yeah. We are... Whoa. Whoa, bug. Okay, guys, I actually had to kill myself. You'll see there's a death counter over there. I actually had to slash kill myself because there's a stack overflow. I think that's from inventory tweaks or or it's either from that or Optifine. But somehow it was screwing it up. So you'll notice we have a durability 7 on here because I had to open it a few times to try to fix it, but it wasn't working. So we had to kill ourselves. But we got everything back because we I did the slash kill right next to my bed. So we're fine. We are fine, and it's almost nighttime now. So we should go to sleep, actually. But yeah, you'll see it says OpenGL, error, stack overflow. Like I said, there's still a lot of bugs to be fixed. But uh, for the most part, it is playable. Just be careful when opening that wooden box. So let's actually put that away, because that box seems to be a little bit glitched. Which is kind of disappointing. But once I get that fixed, we'll be using that uh, v very much. We'll just be using it quite a lot, actually. Okay, so let's actually put this in there. Okay, so let's go back to this. Let's claim our reward. We get another box. And since those are a little bugged, we're going to keep them in there for now. Okay, so we completed that entire quest line right there. So we got pendulum or stone pounder. So let's make a... I think... I, I hope it, these don't require any iron. I don't think the stone pounder does, but the pendulum might. Let's go to the stone pounder. Now it's time to start working with some old-timey clockwork machines. The first machine, and probably one of the greatest inventions in the past thousand years, is the stone pounder. The stone pounder is made by combining three wooden planks, two stone, one piston, two iron ingots, and one wooden cog in an ancient process called crafting. It uses patented crank power to pulverize materials into dust. Ooh, and then we'll get one iron from it, which means we'll be able to complete the one quest without mining. And we'll get gold from it. And rocks. Which aren't that useful, but that's cool. Okay, so we need a stone pounder. We need three wooden planks, two stone, one piston. Oh, that... Say, we can't complete... Because we need iron to build the piston. Dang it. And we need iron ingots, too. We can't make the stone pounder. Dang it. What about the pendulum? The pendulum is an advanced form of cranky power, well more advanced than a hand crank, at least. It can hold cranking power when cranked and outputs the stored power into adjacent cogs and machines. It will slowly lose... Where are we at? It will slowly lose power as it swings, so you need to rewind it after a while. The pendulum is a two-block high machine crafted with four wooden planks, two wooden cogs, one wooden rod, one cobblestone, and one glass. Just place it on the ground, slap a cog on it, and crank it up to start powering some stuff. Okay, so we can make the pendulum, because all the only, like thing we don't have is glass and we can get that pretty easily but all all the pendulum is is a powering station so we don't have anything to power the stone pounder is the only thing that we'd be able to power so we got to find iron somewhere we got to find iron so let's see let's go to chow down let's try this one get cooking caveman style i think we can complete this one Okay, you just killed some pigs and got some pork chops, or maybe you killed a cow or a chicken or even caught a fish. But what are you going to do with them? You can't just eat raw meat, right? 
but you're too lazy to make a furnace, or maybe you just can't find any stone. Never fear. Just take some sticks from a nearby tree and add some gravel and make a fire pit. Put two sticks and two gravel in a crafting table to create a placeable fire pit. Just place it down and give some sticks. It might take a while, and it'll light up. Throw in your food. It doesn't cook ores, and roast them up. Be sure to keep the fire stoked with wood to or stocked with wood to keep it going. You can also light the fire with either flint and steel or a blaze rod. Okay. So we just need to find gravel and then we'll get food from that. Awesome. Okay. So let's go find some gravel. We're going on a mission to find some gravel and some cows. Let's put that there. So I think there might be cows over here. And there's probably gravel somewhere around this ocean. There is some gravel over there. And did I just see a cow? Did I see... Ooh, quicksand. Quicksand. Okay. Did I see a cow? I think I saw a cow. I saw something moving. Oh, those are not cows. What the heck are these? This is part of the Grimoire of Gua Gaia. Are you evil? No? Centaur. Oh, they're nice. Okay. Well, hopefully. I don't want to kill them. I wonder if they drop leather. They might drop leather. So I might be able to kill those to get some leather. Ooh, there's a village over here, too. Oh, and it has a smelter. Oh, there's horses. Man, there's a lot of stuff over here. Ooh, there. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a grave. Let's dig it up. What do we got in here? We got to be careful. Sometimes those graves. Oops. We got to stack overflow again. We got to be careful because sometimes those graves will, um, they will spawn skull crawlers in them so we got to be very careful about that and now we got a stack overflow which means that I can't see my inventory like I said it's still buggy uh, so um, I'm going to have to be very careful and not crash because we might crash but wow this this village has a lot of stuff in ooh what kind of comma comatite comatite I have never seen that comatite ooh iron swords and whips. I don't even know what the whips are for. And pile of ashes, which I don't think is too important. Okay, stack overflow no more? No more stack overflow. Awesome. Cool. What do you got? Ancient fern spores for an emerald. Okay. Hmm, what do we got here? Hops. Ooh. We can make some beer. Make some ale and stuff. Awesome. Cool. So we got hops. We got wheat. I think I saw some, yeah, there's some carrots. And there's some more wheat. We got a lot of food that we can get from this place. A lot of food. What is in here? Is there anything in there? Nope. Okay, let me see. There's, is there something? Yeah, that one looks like a different, different house. And there's another centaur. This one looks like a different house that we haven't seen before. Is that uh, potatoes? Yeah, there's potatoes over there too. Awesome. So we got like most of the basic, basic food items. Yeah, this is one of the ale stores, and now uh, Growthcraft, I'm still waiting for an update. I kept it in here, but I'm still waiting for an update, because if I right-click on this, this ferment barrel, it will crash the game. So we're not going to be messing. I do I ha do have the quest set up for um, ale making and all that, and wine and stuff like that, but right now the ferment barrel and the, uh, forget what the other one called, the juicer or something like that, they, are, uh, they crashed your game if you right-click them. You can put stuff in them by just right or just right clicking with an item, but if you right click on the thing with an open hand, it will crash your game. So we got to be very careful about those. But as soon as they get a fix for that, I'm going to update it, and so we can actually do those quests. Sometimes there's like a chest around here. I thought somewhere. Okay. Ooh, what do we got over here? We got redwood trees. I think that's what these are. Redwood trees. These are a uh, really cool tree that I would like to make a base in where um because we have elevators in here I think from open blocks and make like an elevator in one of these trees in the side of one of these trees so our base is underground but it looks like a tree so we just go in a tree that'd be really cool and we got a mod in here that adds illusion blocks which can be made with any block vanilla or uh, or modded so we can make them look like redwood logs which means we'll probably forget where our base is, so we might not want to do that. But it'd be cool until I forget where it's at. Okay, anyways, let's get gravel. Oh, and sometimes there is a chest. 
under here I don't see one okay sometimes there's a chest in in here okay that's not what I wanted I wanted to gravel thank you to gravel I should have nope I should have some sticks and I don't know if it's a certain way I think it might be a certain way that I have to do this There we go, yeah. It has to go that way. Okay, fire pit, which kind of makes sense. Okay, so we got a fire pit. So, is that complete now? Yeah, it's complete. So we'll get two charcoal, two raw chicken, and beef or pork chop. Um, they both heal the same amount, but I'm going to go with steak. And that opened up a ton of quests. So now we can make beef jerky, uh, pies, we can go vegetarian, we can make chocolate or cheese. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go vegetarian. Let's see. Tired of eating meat? Don't like your food that your food has eyes? Maybe you just wish that there were some healthier alternatives. Let's make a salad. Yay. Okay, salad crafter. Have you gathered tons of seeds and can't find a use for them? Now you can be like a chicken and eat them. The seeds, not the chicken. Just get a wooden bowl and craft it with three seeds and bam, you get the most wonderful thing since tofu. It doesn't fill you up much, but hey... What do you expect? It's made of, made of grass. You can use any type of vanilla seeds for a bowl of grain. Okay, so we can get a bunch of seeds from this, and we can just complete this right now. Because I need just a bowl and three seeds, right? Bowl and three seeds. Okay, so we can get s seeds from here. Give me seeds. Okay, there's one seed, one extra seed. There's three, but I'm going to take all this wheat. And just take it all. Just take all the wheat. Okay. And let's replant it. I'll leave that one. I won't take that one. I'll come over here off camera and get a, get all this uh, food and take it back to the base. So that way it's not too boring just watching me getting all the food. Okay, so, but we got the wheat. And what are you? Are you satyr? You're a satyr? There's satyrs and centaurs. Okay. So a satyr is the one with two legs and, and centaur is four legs. Okay. But they kind of look the same. Okay, so we need a bull. Which means we got to go back to our base because also it's almost nighttime. So we got to get back over there. And then we got to make a bowl. And then we got to put seeds in it. Okay. Oh, where's my food? I need my food. Food. There we go. Okay, yeah, those stack overflow is, I don't know what's really causing that right now, but I'm going to check as soon as I'm done rec with this recording, I'm going to check, try to fix it, because I did fix a couple bugs that were uh, kind of related to the stack overflow, but um guess I didn't fix all of them, so we got a few more to fix. Okay, let's get back over here. Why is that lit up? What is that? What is this? Ender clam. Ooh, drops ender pearls. Awesome. Gotta watch out for those then. So easier way to get to the end. Okay. Where was our here it is. Whoa, that is a lot of saplings. Those are gonna be so many trees. Uh let's just make it out of wood. There we go. We'll get a door. We should actually just make a door. Let's just make a door. Make a door. There we go. And take it down. And boom. Door. Okay, now let's make a bowl. And put some seeds in it. I wonder if it matters where I put them. Let's see if it matters where I put them. No, it does not. And we got four salad. Let's see how much this... Oh, we, I thought we had some health down. Okay. Guess not. Okay, but we do have a fire pit. So we can use that to cook some food. But it, it's very tough. And it might take a lot of wood, so we'll, we'll do it when we get a lot more trees. I'm going to be chopping some trees. I'm going to go over to that village. I'm going to take a bunch of the food from that village. And I'm also going to chop down a lot of trees off camera. So that way it will be kind of stocked up for next episode. Okay. Let's, let's sleep. 
And we can also plant some stuff. We got bone meal too. Okay, let's get uh, let's get the salad. Yeah, we can plant the dark oak saplings and bone meal them. And then see if I can get more uh, saplings. Probably won't. Because that's how the luck goes in these kind of series. Okay. Going to look around just a little bit longer. I just kind of want to see what's around us so we got an idea of what what we got. Okay, so we can claim the reward. So we get grain mix. So we get one grain mix. And we get a spinach roll. We get a spinach roll. So. Spinach roll. I'm not entirely sure if that does anything special or if we... It probably just heals the same amount as grain mix. So, it's not that special, I guess. And we got an apple. Where did we get the apple from? Okay. So, we can... Let's see. Next episode, we might want to make cheese or pie or something. We're going to have to look for trees like peach trees and apple trees. And um, I think there's pear trees. And there's a lot of types of trees. I think they're tangerines, too. There's a lot of types of trees, I think. And then we can also make meat pies and stuff. Okay. So we got like a pond over here. I don't see any fancy trees, really. Because they should be spawning anywhere, these uh, fruit trees. But I don't see any. Okay, so it's a pretty nice area that we were in, actually. There's not many mobs, though. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of grass. A lot of grass and a lot of mushrooms, and whoa. Whoa, what is she? She doesn't look nice. She's holding two swords. She doesn't look too nice. If we go over there, we might die. Um. Hello? Oh, she's a cyclops. She has one eye. Oh, there's sheep over there. Um, I'm just going to slowly just... I'm running. I'm running. I don't know if she's evil or not, but she's holding two swords and she has one eye, so... Uh, yeah. I'm not going to go anywhere near that, because that's scary. Okay, so let's go back to the base. And I think I'm just... I think we should call it a day, because it's it's, it's been a while. And um, i got to fix those bugs, too. Which is kind of bugging... Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a different mob. That's just a sheep with a hat on. Okay. Do we have any hats? What hats have we gotten? We got a fez and a wither boss skull. Let's put on the fez. I like the fez. Let's put the fez on. Be like, uh, be like Doctor Who with the fez. Okay. Fezes are cool. Because I think that's what he says in the one. He only wore it like two episodes maybe? Three episodes? But it's like one of the most memorable things that I remember from that doctor. Okay. So we got flour and oak. We got a bunch of grain mix. We got the wooden cog wheel. So I'm not going to do any uh, off camera. I'm not going to do any mining or anything. Uh, I want to get my first iron and diamonds and stuff on camera. Um, but uh, once we get like iron on camera, then I'll do mining off camera. Uh, same thing with diamond and all the other uh, ores. But I'm going to go get that food. Uh, gonna go raid the village. I might scout around a little bit, see what's uh, see what's going on around here, see if there's anything else to check out maybe next episode. See if there's any more monuments maybe out in the ocean or something. Hopefully don't die by getting eaten by a shark or something. But that could happen. Uh, so guys, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like if you want to see any more. Subscribe. Uh, if you like this series, um, um, the links to the uh, other episode, which there's only one other episode right now, is going to be down there so as well as the playlist and when I get all the bugs fixes fixes in and everything seems to be working all right I'm going to be re releasing this and I'll put the links on my Twitter and my Facebook which are also in the description below so guys I hope you liked the video and if you did please leave a like and I'll see you guys next time what is this oh that's just grass I thought that was some kind of weird green plant well guys I'll see you next time